Hello everyone, this is Any Poke Zone, and welcome back to another video. And today, we are going to be talking about who might just be the stronger trainer between the Unova champion Iris and the Lumios conference champion Alan. Before I get started, if you are a fan of the channel and fan of the anime, please leave a like on this video and hit that sub button with notifications on. I hope to be uploading much more frequently in the coming weeks. It's important to note that there has never been an official battle between these two characters. So, the opinions expressed in this video are my own and it doesn't mean to offend anyone. This video is meant to spark a discussion about who might be the stronger trainer between the two. Now, without any further ado let's get into it. We have seen Alan battle several times in the anime, going back to XYZ. And we have seen a handful of battles with Iris in journeys where she debuted her Unova champion status. So let's first talk about who might be on each trainer's team. Of course for Alan, he will be using his ace Mega Charizard X, but who else could be on his team? We saw in his battle with Leon, that he also owns a Malamar as well as a Chestnut, and we know from XYZ that he has a Metagross, Tyranitar, Weewile, Bisharp, and Unpheasant. In my opinion, his best team would consist of his Charizard, Metagross, Tyranitar, Chestnut, Malamar, and Bisharp maybe Weewile depending on the matchup. Now, Iris is definitely going to have her ace Haxorus, as well as Excadrill and Dragonite, but the rest of her team may be a bit difficult to put together. We know she caught a Gibble, so it's safe to say that Gibble can be a fully evolved Garchomp at this point, and she also has an Emolga, although, I'm not sure Emolga would be able to fit into the type of team she would be using at her strongest. We could dip into her team from the Black and White 2 games when she was the Unova champion, so Hydreigon, Drudigan, Agron, Archeops, and Lapras could all be on the table as well. But leave a comment down below on what you think Iris's strongest team would be, since it is a very up in the air question. But let's try and dive in for a second in who might be the stronger trainer, by looking at their achievements. Now we all know how strong Alan's Mega Charizard X is, his Charizard ripped through the entire Kalos region, taking down Mega Evolved Pokemon after Mega Evolved Pokemon, battling legendaries in Zygarde, Mega Rayquaza, Primal Grodon defeated a member of the Elite Four's ace after defeating 10 straight Mega Evolved Pokemons and even took down Ash Greninja, who was meant to be the Greninja of Prophecy. We did see Mega Charizard take a loss to another Elite Four member's Mega Blastoise at one point though. But again, Alan breezed through the entirety of Kalos in a super short amount of time, he didn't even know about the league until Ash had almost wrapped up gathering all 8 badges, which means he went from gym 1 to 8 so fast he probably set a record. He even blew through the Kalos league up to Ash by almost just using Mega Charizard, and it wasn't even close majority of the time. Another important thing to note in all of this, is that Alan isn't the regional champion yet. Diantha is still considered to be the Kalos champion, while Alan is considered to be the Lumios conference winner. Even Ash at this point is the Alola champion, and Iris of course is the Unova champion. Having the status of regional champion in the Pokemon anime has almost been like a tier above any other trainer. Does this mean that at some point, Alan battled Diantha and lost? We can't really say that for certain as it has never been confirmed or denied in the anime. And speaking of Iris, she sort of made an abrupt jump to Unova champion when she was reintroduced in Pokemon Journeys. We knew in the games that this had a possibility of happening for her, but I'm not sure anyone saw this coming near the end of Black and White series. We saw her start her travels taking down other Dragon-type trainers, but I never thought she would make it all the way to being the Unova's regional champion. We would have to assume that she won the Unova League, defeated members of the Elite Four, and then took down Alder who was the previous Unova champion. Although, in Journeys, we have only seen her officially battle twice and lose both times. One versus Ash, and the other versus Cynthia. Both battles were incredibly hard fought, and her Haxorus has shown that it can almost stand on the same level as Cynthia's Mega Garchomp which means there was a huge step up in power level since battling Ash, where, again, Haxorus was taken out by Ash's Dragonite. We also not forget the fact that Iris reached Masterclass without any gimmicks like Mega, G-Max or Z-Move. So, it's pretty commendable. This battle is certainly up for grabs when looking at the past accolades and battles that both of these trainers have. I doubt that these two would ever be put up against each other in a tournament-like setting, but if they were, it would definitely make for a great battle. Both trainers have very impressive accolades, but so much stuff happened off screen, both sides have very valid arguments about who might be stronger. But if you ask me I'd say Alan's Mega Charizard X is stronger than Iris's any Pokemon right now, including Haxorus. But, in a 3 vs 3 or a full battle, Iris has an edge. If Iris has access to either G-Max or Z-Move then who knows if Haxorus might actually surpass Mega Charizard X. Let me know who you guys think is stronger between Alan and Iris in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching the video and I will see you guys in the next video.